us apart and bury me All in my head alone Only in my head but only feel the cold Hello not video editors So in today's tutorial I'll be sharing with you on how I made the electric or lightning saber effect in this tutorial So our uh, footage over here is already color graded All you need to do right now is to add on a smoke effect in order to create a chaotic scene in our footage So we start by reducing the intensity of the smoke and then as well, we'll change our blend mode from overlay to add. And after we're done editing our smoke effect, we go on and pinpoint the spots and areas where we'll be applying our saber effect. And after we've done that, we go on and add our adjustment layer and trim it according to the point we have marked. So based on what I had in mind, I will be adding another adjustment layer on our timeline over here. So in order to avoid any sort of confusion, I will be adding up a numeric number in all our adjustment layer. And then after all that is done, we move ahead and add our saber effect on our adjustment layer. And here is our saber effect. So first and first, we pin down the point where we will be applying our saber effect. And then over here, we will be removing the core disturbing line in the middle. Now we go ahead and change our distortion look on our saber effect. And after we've done that, we go ahead and change the color to our favorable design. So I'll be adding another distortion layer on our saber effect over here. So we have noise aspects. Noise aspect enables you to to control our saber distortion. So in order to save time, I'll be saving up our saber editing preset. So I will again be trimming our adjustment layer. And then after all that is done, I'll be keyframing our saber effects to track the finger movement.
And then after all that is done, here's a preview of what we have achieved so far. You know I'm one of a kind, or so I've been told. No matter so we go to our first splitted adjustment layer. We go and know we're not alone. We face it all cause now we know that we can take it. We face it all cause we go bigger, we go home. And then we as well add our saber effect preset and applied it on our targeted area. Yeah, and here's the second preview of the work we just did. And after all this is done, we go ahead and add our glow effect reflection. But first of all, as usual, we go ahead and add our solid shape. And then on the timeline, adjust it to match our adjustment layer. And you can as well change the color to your color preference. So over here we'll be overlaying each glow effect on the adjustment layer. And after we've added our glow effect, we go ahead and add our distortion and ray glow effect. This is paradise. After we are done exporting our first clip, 
we're gonna import and add adjustment layer and go to effects and add our shake effect And then after we are done with our shake effect setup, we can as well preview our workflow. So thank you all very much for watching and as well, if you find this video helpful, kindly give us a like button or consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for much of our not video tutorials to come. See you next Friday. Peace out.